Welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're going to be doing our last question mark challenge in Roberto Mary's campus. This, uh, this is some F2 gameplay around Aussie. So we're going to do it. So we're not going to have a specific. I'm going to. Oh, okay. So we're going to have the feature race at uh, 50%. Or does it do. Right, we're going to have it 100 uh yeah 100 percent it's if so we're gonna have it one shot and we're just gonna like do as good as i can last call i'm just gonna smash into a barrier because yeah vehicle damage is gonna be on full we're gonna have walls and flags are gonna be corner cutting only and they're gonna be on regular race starts manual time i could not care less about i could not care less about that but phone moves or flashbacks on assists braking assist is going to be on medium traction control full no dynamic rating line automatic gearbox pit assist off pit pit release assist off ERS mode automatic and weather and time though we're just going to do, do it dynamic uh, di dynamic and official because yeah and we are going to go into one shot qualifying then so straight so i want to get into the rating as soon as possible so i think we're just going to retire straight away if you do enjoy it and you're an f if you're an f2 or f1 fan smash a like and subscribe to the channel let's see if we can get two likes uh, yeah two likes i think you know we're strong enough i think we can do it Go to track. Retire. Anyway, if you saw the qualifying session for Hungary in 2019 for the Formula One, like the video and comment what you think or put in the live chat what you think of qualifying. I also loved it because if you know me, I'm a uh, Max Verstappen fan and he got his first pole. So I'll take that. So, and in this ladder, North got pole. For, uh, uh, the top. <sighs> okay, I'll take that. Teammate starting 11th, so that's where our car can get, which is a shame. Okay, I thought we could get a bit further up. Shut up, Alex Shakes. Shut up. Shut up, please, please, please do. You're not a bad commentator, but just no, I want to get in with the racing. Right, race strategy. Pit lap 12. We're 33 lap race. We are underway in Melbourne. We get a bit of a ba very bad start, but that's good because we're going to hang back into turn one, avoid all the conditions which F2 AI can easily do. Just going to hang back very uh, weirdly there. It gets pulled out. Anyway, we are now oh Aiken down 17th. That's not nice. We're breaking into turn one. We're just gonna follow Aiken through. Try go around the outside of Gunter. I think we just and now up the inside of Lerandi. Is that gonna help Aiken? Yes, it is. Smashing it. Oh no! I have been contact already. Me and Lerandi. Let's take a replay of that. So straight away I hit that, get a bit of front wing damage and then just understeer into Lorandi. Oh actually. Ah, oh, it's such a shame for Gumball to Gunter. You get very, very oh carry just avoiding it. So 
try and do that again on the outside of the Randy. Again, just, just stopping us. Oh! oh in the barriers! Oh, but what the, that was the Randy's fault there. What's this, right? He goes for it and then just... What the hell happens? Yeah, look this. So I'm in here. Cuts across me. I go onto the grass and have to hit the value, and that's. I'd say that's a racing incident. If I have to give a penalty to anyone, it probably Lavandi. In real life, it'll probably be me. But anyway, we've got a position on Lavandi. Into 17th. It's not a bad start. We've got Jack Aiken, Nicholas Latifi. He is down a lot. In 15th. You could say the same of Aiken. What the hell? I didn't even touch it! Right. Near so, we're going to go for it on Jack Aiken. Taking it in, taking us into 16th, that will. Stay away from the barrier. As we are in 16th place. Got Nicholas Latifi ahead of us, which, as I've already said, is very far down. So if we overtake here, I think that would be amazing for us. Uh, is Latifi going to go on the inside of Bocalacci? No, that's a bad decision because now we go on the inside of Latifi into 15th place. No, the outside for 40. This is going to be an excellent move. We can just make it work. Wall's going to do the cutback. Don't need to. 14th place. So Lado Norris setting the first lap of the race as he is the race leader. Pull on the inside, get, but we need to cut back across to get into the slipstream. But we're not going to be able to. Oh! Bit of contact with Gileo. Front wing looks okay. On the inside, and that was there. Oh, steer again to me. Anyway, we're into 13th. That was a bit offensive there. From a shrews. Who was it? Delatraz. Very mean. Anyway. 13th place. Gonna have to try and work our way past Delatraz if we want. We need to get past it as quick as we can. But, oh, Delatraz fighting bad. No! We just come through. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. I know I'm in P12. Oh, and we got Arjun Maney ahead of me. Here we get in the slipstream. What the hell? My braking just went. Okay. My steering just went. On the on the outside, gonna cut across. Oh, but here we go deep, and maybe gets it back. We're still gonna try and get it. Oh no, that's a bad decision. Because Delatraz could have maybe come back at us, but the Galeo's gonna go for Delatraz. Oh, that someone hit me. I felt hit. I don't know why that one that pushed us wide, and then no. He was just getting on the grass then, okay, so. Anyway, that was a beautiful stuff from Galeo. Uh, Delatraz just going slowly. And then Galeo was gonna make a pop. But mainly, though, I've gotta give it to him. He is doing some excellent defending in this race so far. Mm -hmm. That was 11 seconds faster than his first lap time for Orlando and I was and DRS enabled. So I assume we're going to get DRS on Archer and Maney. No. Okay, that's a shame. 
but do we even need DRS? We are in the slipstream. That is all we need on the inside. She tries to defend. It's really nothing. We are up the inside into 11th place. We have moved up nine places in three laps. Um, I uh, think that has been a good start. That we could have been a bit further up if we got past mainly sooner. I'll say that. But anyway, we are already getting the turbulent air, turbulence of Padasuke Makino. Almost pushing into the back of him, just showing how hard I am pushing. I think we we have the pace to get past Makino, I'd say. So I'm going to want to get past Makino. Oh, 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 oh. That was a close one. My steering and braking. Well, my controller when I came on the PlayStation was going was a uh, low battery. Should go on with the other one, but again, okay. Uh, there's an issue with my controller. I think. Look at this, right? I was steering at this point away from the grass and it only recognised it here when I'm on the grass. So I'm steering on the grass which then just made me spin round. So. No idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. Right. I'm going to point my controller right at it, right at the PlayStation. Right. I was just doing then. So, oh, first slap, okay. Pass Makino into 10th place. And next up, we got our teammates. We have to be a bit gentle. I would say. Go on the inside. Oh, that was. Oh, that was an attempt. Oh, and that time, and that he went broke way too early for my liking. And there's the two cat bosses out of the race. Like guys, this is me in the, the future. Um, this is me after I'm um, after recording. I've realised it as I continued on, but we're not going to show it. I realised that we weren't, but I think I was going to crash a lot going into it because the AI are going a lot slower than me, and I feel like I was going to break way too late for their liking and I'm just going to have incidents like this so I'm just going to let the crash keep on playing until, until I ex until I finish explaining what we're going to do so we're going to turn into this video to a bit of a um, realistic crashes so you're going to try and cause realistic crashes um, bit of a change in idea but yes yeah, so I'm gonna cut until I'm gonna cut until we were out of the race and we finished the race so three two one so guys that was a very a nice uh brilliant brilliant result for us 
Um, I think if we got ahead and we were on our own, we would have got a lot more pace. So I think the AI was breaking very, very early. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and goodbye. So guys, again, me from the future. This was a video, this was meant to be yesterday, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's video. Um, but, yeah. Um, or what I filmed it to, uh, yesterday, so I'm just going to show you. What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we will be doing causing realistic crashes in F1. So me and Max have done it online, so I've got a bit of stuff that I know, that I think I'm going to, that I know how to do. We're going to go into launch stroll at around Spain. We're gonna, Oh, yeah, around Spain. I, my throat just... Bleh. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed yesterday's video, then smash a like and my last question mark. Um, I've, I've already filmed it, so I'm going to say it's very interesting. I, I, I did do that. It's going to be posted tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be posted... It was posted yesterday, or actually... At the time of filming this, I'm going to say it was it was going to be posted tomorrow. Anyway, let's get into realistic crashes. So, guys, just in the, if I'm in this sort of voice, um, the t it's me from the future. So, we're going to merge that one until I realise it's not going to work. Until this, until where we are now. So, until the realistic crashes. So let's go. Yeah, I don't know why not. We're gonna try and slot in to this boy here. We got Joe Vanazzi there. She's gonna make a break. Get out of hard! I'm talking about making our breaking card. We got very evil. We got a couple of elite love takes. She got to rejoin. We spot us around Joe Vanazzi. We've hit Joe Vanazzi in the barrier. We go. So that is the first readers to cross. I think I just tried to carve her off. Joe Vanazzi into here. Go deep. And I've got two illegal really overtakes. So I broke off here to let them go through. And then just. Oh, spun round into the barrier. So I'm just going to check something quickly, guys. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Okay. Hang on. If right, okay, good. All right, so that was that one, and uh, we're gonna do another crash coming into turn one. I know. So, and me, V Joe Nazi. This is gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna pull on the, the entire. We hear Joe Nazi. Is that a bit front wing damage? Yes, it is. As we come into here, that wasn't nice from us bit of front wing damage we're gonna try and get past Perez maybe even Norris but we go deep which isn't gonna help us as we've got a bit of front wing damage as we come in to here I just realized this isn't gonna be a total one crash but you know I'll try and make a crash happen hello the bad right oh they're not gonna get out of the curb and we've all gone deep the two racing points are Lando Norris that was a bit of a shame as we just pass Sergio Perez. Oh, that was a shame. Honestly, this is what I just got on the curb and then just got on the sun, hit into the wall. Then that's, you can see the consequence. Fumbles with Lando Norris. Yeah, so he, he's basically, he's driving normally. And then it was at this point that he sees him. At this point, Wayne White's got no room, but he's steering. Also, Wayne Wright making contact with Norris gives him understood. This is now where Wayne Wright hits the answer. Wayne Wright, um, Norris steering in, and then that hits Perez. That gives Perez a bit of following. And at this point, Norris, he's going deep. He's a passenger. See him, he was listening to his engine. He was braking as hard as he can to get back. But he just said it. Let's go, Walter Sergio Perez. 
Yeah, so it's him for Norris. He goes deep for some reason, stays away and maybe he's ending. But then, here, he starts to see Norris just cut across and he wonders why. There he sees the front wing go and then he sees his teammate wildly up the inside. But then he's still steering this way and then that's where he gets free from Norris. <coughs> so a different, disappointing one for the racing point cards and Lando Norris. Yep, we are back in the race then as we come up into turn nine. Oh, ain't I breaking? Because he's got the front wing damage. But now it's Lando Norris. We're just going to make it. So, guys, uh, we're just putting a bit of. Off, off, off. There we go. Giving Lando Norris a bit of slipstream. That's not what we want to do. Oh! We lock up! We fit to Lando! And that's not what we want! As we're going to rejoin the circuit down in last. So we go deep here, and Lando Norris gets it. But then, just I'm not going to say he pushes me off the track, but it was something like that. See, so we get a bad exit, and then just end up with no one, which is a shame. I think he was going to cut across to get back in. But I think we made a, we stayed a bit too much, went off the track, obviously no room. Um, Snorris was taking his line. Oh no! And they've touched! Fuck <laughs> that. Oh, he is absolutely just struggling with the car! Oh, almost hitting into Perez. Just Oh, when I get to go there, he's gonna go straight into the barrier! And that has been another nice video.